Hello and welcome to Know How the Darkness. Yeah, you probably clicked this video because you've got um, black texture issue in the Darkness 2 playing it with uh, through Wine on Linux or a sound issue playing it through Wine on Linux. Well, you basically got no sound, maybe. The sound problem might only persist with my distro, so I'm not sure if it persists with any other distro and this well, with my distro in combination with Lutris. So yeah, we're gonna focusing on Lutris and play on Linux on this video. And yeah, I basically sh first of all show you how Darkness 2 currently runs on play on Linux. So I go on config configure, you see I've got the Wine version 3.4 installed, it's a 32-bit environment and yeah, if we launch it, probably no, yeah, but I'm still, sh still show you, we've got black textures, yeah, my prefix is being actualized, yeah, I'm a, I'm a German person, so never mind if you can't really understand those fonts, so yeah, first of all, we're gonna pause this download, <sighs> no, so we're going to the library and launching the darkness 2 to show you what the problem actually is. So yeah, we're going to start it. We go on continue, wait for it to load. So you know this bug, it's a black texture. We take the gun from this little guy to go even further to show. I want to show you something else that you may probably know. Or this shader bug with some stuff rendering behind this black something. So, yeah, on this video, we're gonna fix this. So, as you hear, we've got sound but black texture. So, we go to the main menu, quit the game. Yeah, I really want to quit. Quit the play on Linux Steam. Move it on the other side. No, we keep this. So, how to fix this issue? Well, there is a wine prefix available. Not for play, li play on Linux, for Lutris. The Darkness 2, you see, it's installed here. If I run this, I'm gonna play it for you so you guys see what I mean. I'm gonna run this. The Darkness 2, la 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 la. Yeah, connecting to my Steam account, hooray! And waiting for it to load. This always appears this first installation. I don't know why Lutris is doing this. Oh well, okay. We're still waiting to boot up. Uh, this does really take a long, long time with Lutris. I don't know why. So you may hear it or may hear it not. There is no f sound, so we go to this. Go to Play offline, we continue the campaign, wait for it to load, so you see, black textures and no sound, well, this is bad, so we go to the main menu, we quit the game again, so yeah, how to fix this, well, on Lutris it is easy, you right click, darkness, go to configure, and then you go to runner options and you see I'm kind of currently running uh, wine 3.5 delivered from my system but for this we need the darkness 2 1.9.12 e386 it saves this and now on Lutris the texture bug is fixed but in my case well Installing Gecko, I don't know if we need it. I don't think we need it, so I just break this. No, this, ha it's, this has nothing to do with an uh, not installed Gecko. I also already tried. I ins once installed Gecko and it still didn't make any sound. And yeah, there are probably tons of error messages. We wait for Steam to come up. Well, I think I should have installed Gecko as well. Well, however, the game has quit. This is bad for the tutorial. 
We start it again. Well, you don't ask for Gecko again. This is really bad. First installation. Oh, yeah, this, this is one point I also got with the Lutris wine stuff. Darkness 2 is, or Steam is crashing really often. I don't know why, and could you please keep my windows on this one? So we go to play offline. So we go to continue the campaign. La la la, wait for it to load, and yeah, you see, the textures are all there, but still no sound. Yeah. So, because on my distro, I am not sure if this persists with any other distro, Steam is crashing really often through Lutris, and this is really annoying. It got a bunch of error messages, I don't know why, just stop all stuff in this. So, yeah, we want to get the wine prefix from Lutris to play on Linux. This is really easy. We just go opening our file browser. We're going to point local share Lutris and in Lutris there are I think runners and under runners in wine you find all installed wine prefixes for Lutris. The E386 indicates it's a 32-bit installation, and this one indicates that it is, that it is blah, a 64-bit installation. So, we need this preset and play on Linux. So, we basically just copy it, and we just copy it to play on Linux. Because we are a really lucky person, play on Linux and also Lutris are managing their wine prefixes exactly the same way. So, because this is a 32-bit installation, we go to Linux x68 and just paste it in. There we go. Lutris. Ta-da. So, we move this away. We don't need this anyone. Now we go on Configure and Play on Linux and just selecting our fresh installed new wine prefix. We say yes, we really want to continue. We wait for Play on Linux to preparing some stuff. We go on run and wait a few seconds to steam boot to wait me well ups. Sorry, I'm not really often talking English, so I'm sorry. And then we run the darkness too. Dum -dum -dum, just waiting a few seconds. So and we go on continue. We wait for it to load. So, and we see our texture bug is also fixed. We got sound. We can switch our weapons. And also we can open this door. And yeah, we see the shader bug is fixed and we got sound. And I'm sorry to say that I'm not sure how to fix this sound issue only with Lutris, so you probably need to reinstall the Darkness 2 also and play on Linux. Yeah. One only issue I, which is still present is that sometimes there is some slow loading I think. There are sometimes short lags when you first open a game and yeah, as you saw. And yeah. But this is basically how you can fix the Darkness 2, the texture bug, and if you have this issue, also the sound bug. And if you're also not really confident with the uh, Lutris Steam installation and it's also crashing very often on your system, feel free to try to try bleh, to try play on Linux. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I could help you and see you next time. Bye bye!